Good morning. Today we're going to do a Zuwu. Quite fierce looking creatures. So first thing you're going to need is an oval in the middle of your page. Like so. I'm going to go around it a few times like that. And then around that we're going to draw a circle. Okay. And that's going to be where the main of the Zulu is. Now we're going to have one line coming out here and down. And then we're going to draw like a diamond on the end, like so. And then this side was going to have a straight line coming out and a triangle. That'll be our two feet. And that's what we're going to start with. So for the face in the middle, um, near the top, not quite halfway, just above halfway, we're going to draw the nose. So it's like a triangle, but I'm just going to curve the edges. So it's not quite a point like that. Now from there, you're going to draw two cheeks that go right round, not quite touching. One and two, like that. Now we're going to draw two circles just above those, and that's where our eyes are going to be. So in the middle of them, we're going to draw... A line going across like the bridge of a nose then we're going to draw two lines in the corners like that now from there around to a bit of a point and in like so and same this side around to a point and in like so okay we're going to curve the eye off that bit like that and we're going to draw a highlight right in the center now the pupil this time is like a triangle, but I'm going to just do, the highlight's going to just come into that triangle. So it's like a little slit like that, a bit like a cat. So we're going to come down, go round a bit of that highlight and then shade in that pupil. Now around the outside of this, I'm just going to do very light zigzags with my pencil and around that highlight there. Same this side, zigzag around the highlight. And around there like that and there we have our eyes now from here we need to draw four tusks there's one either side there like that and then one just behind like so come out of his mouth okay from either side we're going to just draw a line going down along the bottom of that oval and back up and that's going to be our jaw line we're going to add in a bit more of a gum along and up and I'm just going to shade that. You can always colour it later but that's usually quite black inside that cat's mouth. Okay and then we'll just add a bit of fluff going down and fluff the chin and then join it up like that. Now underneath these cheeks we're going to have two long fangs either side and then zigzag some teeth in the middle and we'll colour that bit off there, a bit of gum. We're going to have fangs here, zigzag along the bottom and I'm just going to draw some little teeth going back into the mouth there like so. A line down the middle and two lines to show that tongue. And there we have our mouth. So above here going to do two curved lines like a C and a backward C just showing that crease where he's growling at us or screaming at us almost and we're going to just draw some fluff zigzagging around there and around there now we have the big mane to do so the key part is from here we're just going to draw some of the outside or they're almost like flame shapes so they can sort of come out however you want and once you've done them, they have a little line going up the middle. I'm going to do a wiggly one out here. I'm going to do one that curves. So sort of get those big bits in first. So I'm going to draw one this side that goes all the way out and curves around like so. A bit thicker, towards the head thinner as they go out. And some... Might even have a little bit that comes off and there like that. And then I'm just going to add in these little lines like so. 
maybe this one has a little bit there like that now in between you just fill in the gaps so same sort of shapes wiggle them curl them around at the top it's however you want them really they sort of come out it's a bit like a lion's mane but it's more like flame like looks a bit like fire so lots of wiggly bits at the bottom it's going to be slight they're going to be slightly smaller so they don't want to go all the way trailing on the floor but there'll be bits behind i'm going to do some long thin ones coming in there on there let's get this side drawn in draw one right out like that i think So I'm doing it quite quickly as you can see, it doesn't matter too much at this point. Just sort of scribbling in, maybe one that curls. You just want to fill in the gap that you've got around. So layering them up so it looks thicker and thicker, okay? And there we have our mane so far. Now if I just zoom out slightly we'll get those legs in. So from this side I'm going to come straight out, I'm going to do a bit of a fluff around the elbow and straight down towards that wrist and then fluff around the bottom. And we go straight up and straight in there like that. So it's like sticking out. Now at the bottom here we're going to go out, hook, that's going to be one claw. Back in, come over here, draw a little knuckle, come out, little round part, and that's going to be the next claw. Now I'll just shade these black, I feel like they're going to be black. You can obviously always colour them. And then this one, come out, and then claw like so. Quite big claws there. And this one here, because it's going to come out, fluff round that bit, thicken up that leg a bit. And this one's going to come out, claw, maybe a bit of fluff in here, this part, claw, and then one just behind there, claw, like so. Okay, last but not least, the back of the Zulu, Zulu is almost like a flame sort of tail, so we're just going to show that a little bit. So from about here, I'm going to wiggle down curve it round and then just do like a snake wiggly snake part there and this i'm just gonna draw in little bits so it's almost like it's folded over and then bring that bit down wiggle it back in to the same and i might see a bit of it come out this side and curve back in like so and there you have our zoo woo